Welcome back YouTube. We have Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews and here is Google Apps updates roundup number 19 and in today's video I'm going to show you all the new changes I spotted in Google Apps in the first week of April. In this episode there are some exciting features that have been waiting for for a long time so let me show you what's new with Google Apps but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. I will start with Google Photos and the first change I'm going to show you is the new enhanced video editing tools. I got them only on my Pixel 3 XL so let me show you how it works. When you open a video and then tap on edit you will see a lot more tabs to choose from than before. The first tab is called video and this one includes the same features we used to have like exporting a frame, stabilize the video or mute the sound. Under crop you can change the aspect ratio, you can rotate the video and also apply a 3D effect like this. So it will look familiar to you if you are using already the editing tools for photos. These are exactly the same tools available uh, for a while now. And when you go to adjust, you will see the same settings here like brightness, contrast, white point, highlights, and so on and so forth. After that, you have filters, and these are the same filters under photos. And finally, you have markup, which will allow you to apply some freehand drawing on the video or some shading as well. And that's pretty much it. And the second change is a new collection under memories called the fun on the water. And as the name suggests, it will include all the photos related to water as shown now on the screen. Next, the Google Play Store. And it got a redesigned navigation and settings page. And when you open it for the first time after the change, you will see the hamburger menu icon is grayed out with a red dot for notification. When you tap on the hamburger menu, it will change to the new design and it will give you a hint that all the new options are now, are now located under your profile. When you tap on it, it will show you the new list of options. The number of pages you see here and their names are exactly the same as before, but some pages got redesigned and the first one is library. Now when you go inside, you can jump quickly to your wish list. You can go to your family library. Uh, you can open the Google TV app and finally playbooks. Next, the payments and subscription pages are now consolidated into one page instead of two separate pages like before. The settings page got also redesigned. When you go to settings, you will see four different categories, general, user controls, family, and about. You can expand and collapse each category to get the settings listed under, which is much cleaner than before. Back to the new menu, and now you will be able to see your play points immediately from here, and tapping on it will take you to the points page. And if you have any notifications in your Google Play Store, you might see a bell-shaped indicator over here next to your profile picture with the number of notifications waiting for you. Next, Google Maps. And now the compass widget is back after being pulled off for a very long time. And to be able to see it, you need to start the navigation. So I will navigate to any random place. And as you see here, the compass widget is back. You can lock it on the north or make it rotational like this. The second feature is the new indoors AR directions that is currently available in selected locations like malls, airports, and the train or bus stations. This feature will allow you to navigate these locations using your phone's camera as shown now in this example. You will be able to use it to locate ATMs, restrooms, ticket offices, shops, and so on. It's a very powerful feature, but unfortunately, it's only available in selected cities. As you see here, number of malls in Chicago, Long Island, LA, Newark, San Francisco, San Jose, and Seattle. Google will expand to more shopping locations in the coming months, while Tokyo and Zurich are the first areas to gain transit and airport live view directions. Next, Gmail. And now you can integrate the Google Chat app in your Gmail and that will give you access to two new tabs. The first one is called the chat and here you will see your conversations and the second one will show you the rooms. That's similar to the Google Meet integration we saw earlier and to activate the feature you need to go to Gmail settings and then choose the account you want to activate the feature for and you will see here a new menu item called chat but it's now in early access, so expect to see some bugs, if any. Once you tick the box, you will be able to see the two new tabs. Plus, you will be able to change your status from here. You can set it to active, do not disturb, or away. The second change is the new swipe action animations. As you see here, when I swipe to delete my email, it will give me this nice animation for the delete icon. 
similarly for archive here's the mark as unread and move and finally the snooze action before jumping to the next category let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor cdkoffers.com from cdk offers you can purchase original microsoft windows 10 and office keys in a very discounted price not only this but you can also use my special promo code id20 to get extra 20 percent discount as you see you can get yourself a windows 10 oem key for 16.18 dollars which is insanely cheap please check the links in the description below now let's get back to the review next wear os and now there is a new uv index complication that you can add to your watch face this complication will let you know the amount of ultraviolet radiations in your area the, the values of the uv index ranges between 0 to 11 plus and if you want to add it to your watch face tap and hold on it until you see the settings icon when you go to settings choose the spot for the complication scroll down until you see weather and you will see it right here the second change is the new manage notifications button if you don't have any notifications on your smartwatch you will see a new button here called manage when you tap on it it will open the wear os app on the phone directly on the notifications settings to adjust them from here next the google home app and now when you go to your smart speaker settings you will see all the settings are now categorized and instead of having a very long list of options stacked on top of each other you have device information recognition and sharing notification and digital well-being and so on so it's much cleaner now with this new change the second change is the ability to customize your feeds tap using this new edit button at the top left corner when you tap on it from here you can turn on or off the type of events you want to see under your feeds tap i don't have much to show you here i only have the home and the away routine but as an example here is an article from nine to five google with some examples so if you have google wi-fi you can turn on or off network status wi-fi activity and if you have a nest hub you can turn on people and motion next youtube music and it got the new outlined icons that we first saw in the normal youtube app and as you see here the new icon pack is located everywhere in the app another change related to youtube music is the ability to hide google play music if you still have it on your phone so after the latest update when you open the app you will see a new option here called hide app delete all local data or open app info but you won't be able to pass this screen if you want to explore your music it will take you straight away to youtube music instead next there are four new web xr experiments that will allow you to interact with the environment around you in four different ways using ar and vr technologies these experiments are solder and this one is for visualizing social distancing the second one is called measure up is to calculate the length area and volume of things around you the third one is called flume to explore the planet and finally picture escape to explore your gallery and memories using augmented reality the last one is not yet available however you can try the first three i will start by measure up and once you tap on the link it will show you a quick tutorial about how to use the tool then when you scroll down to the bottom you will see here the link tap on the word link it will open the tool for you the difference between this tool and the measure app of google this one can measure objects in 3d so you can tell the area and the volume while the measure app of google can only measure one axis at a time so now when you tap on launch it will start the camera and it will ask you to scan the environment around you so i have here a screen recording while measuring one of the boxes in my environment so here is how it works i started by scanning that area now i can start applying the points and here you go it started with the width and length and then i can measure the volume so as you see here the numbers are 38 38 by 40. i found the accuracy to be between 85 to 90 percent and it doesn't work perfectly all the time so you need to keep that in mind the second one i'm going to show you is flume this one will help you explore different areas from the planet into your environment uh, by using the camera first you will add a marker to your environment this marker will turn into tunnel and you can look through this tunnel to see different areas and the areas you see are based on the direction of your camera so as you see here when you tilt your phone 
uh, and change the direction, you will see different cities and places. Uh, so let me show you also a screen recording while trying this experiment. If you want to launch it on your, on your phone, you just need to tap on launch experiment and then tap on let's go. Then explore. It will start your camera and then you can tilt the phone to scan the environment and so on and so forth. So let me show you the screen recording of Loom as well. It will ask you for the permission for the first time. And here is the marker. When I tap on the marker, I can see uh, uh, somewhere in Canada, as you see here at the top. Then I can change the direction of the phone to add another marker and get a different place and so on. So you got the idea. And the third one is solder. Unfortunately, it didn't work on my Pixel 5 for some reason, so I had to use my Pixel 4 XL. And when I tap on the link, it will show me first a quick tutorial about how to use the experiment. Uh, it will simply open the camera and show you what six feet or two meters look like in your environment to make sure you are keeping the safe distance. To start the experiment, tap on the launch experiment button and then tap on launch again. It might ask you for the camera permission for the first time if it's not granted already. And let me show you a screen recording while using the experiment. It will start by scanning the environment as expected. And then it will show you the two meters distance on front of you so you can tell if you're keeping the safe distance or not so that's pretty much it for today those are all the changes i spotted in google apps in the first week of april so i hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching